out prospecting early afternoon. We're finding lots of float samples of quartz here. You can see there's a bit of mineralization. Some of that in there is mica though. You can see some oxidization and hordes and hordes of float samples here. So we're gonna head up there where my prospecting partner is because we think we see a quartz vein. The rocks here look like they're diorite. You got some quartz there, oxidization here. We located the quartz vein, it's about 50 meters uphill that way. More quartz here, all over the place. And look at the massive, massive quartz fade. I would say we're looking at what's exposed. And I would say it's a good uh, 10 meters wide, 30 feet wide. Vein up there is exposed a little bit, but way too steep to get up there. All this right here is vein material all the way across here, all the way under this tree. Over to there is where we can't chase it anymore. Exposed up there. First samples that we're pulling off don't look like it's mineralized very much. Other than the occasional speck of pyrite and calcopyrite. Could be some free milling metals in there. Just too small to see. We'll have to pop out the jeweler's loop. Expose more here of the vein. Another six feet over from where it was diving under the overburden, so about 12 meters wide total, or 36 feet. Most of the samples we're finding just looks like trace pyrite and calcopyrite. Be interesting to see if there's anything else in here. So we're gonna follow this up higher and Try not to fall up this steep, steep incline. So this tree portion right here, the other side of it is where the vein is, so I'm about 40 meters away. And look at, right here, more exposed. So, more quartz. Doesn't look like uh, there's any mineralization here. Here the quartz is exposed again. You have a little bit different of a host rock. You have a volcanic tuff. And you have loads of ravens flying overhead following us, which is Probably not a good sign, but we're going to continue up here and see if we can locate anything else. My prospecting partner is searching up there. I'm searching over here. We got about, I'd say half an hour before we absolutely have to head down because we will be blocked from any kind of daylight. Not seeing too much of anything in the way of mineralization other than the occasional speck of calcopyrite and pyrite. If there's any AU in that quartz vein, it's definitely too small to see. Whew. We are now 200 meters away from that original first portion of the vein. It's exposed there, 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 and all along here. 
So we got a massive, massive quartz vein here. Again, doesn't look like any kind of mineralization or visible mineralization. We are making our way down and what we found is pretty cool. That black stuff in there is magnetite. You also have a little bit of free mill gold. Don't know if you can see it. It's not really too visible with the naked eye, but definitely free mill gold. So that is pretty cool. This is in the vicinity of the quartz veins. Quartz veins are up there. We're about in the middle from where we started. The other quartz vein is over there. So pretty cool, nice float sample. More magnetite samples. Basically, all these float rocks contain magnetite. And uh, little bits of sulfides and a couple we've seen have visible free mill gold. So that is pretty interesting. We'll have to come back when we got more daylight. One sample before we head down. You can see the mineralization. Calcopyrite, pyrite, free mill gold, magnetite. Mostly pyrite and uh, magnetite though. This is pretty cool. Take a look at that. You got native copper. Copper is a native element. That is pretty cool. We're uh, about five meters away from where we uh, found that magnetite. So that is pretty cool. There is quartz everywhere. And now we're finding your magnetite, pyrite, calcopyrite, free mill gold samples everywhere. Pretty cool. It's a heavy sample. Coming down. We're about 30 meters away from the road now and we're finding hordes and hordes of samples. We're 300 meters away from where that quartz vein is. Loads of magnetite with sulfides and free mill gold. This could be an interesting deposit. Look at all the samples just laying everywhere. To give you a bit of an idea, over by that tree line is where we found the first quartz. It continues all the way up to about 150 meters past this forest tree line up here. We found samples, quartz all along here, magnetite over here, basically from all the way over here down that way, about 100 meters. And you can see all of these float samples. And we're just finding hundreds and hundreds of mineralized samples. So we are going to hammer some of the samples we pulled down and uh, show you guys what we found. This one's loaded with pyrite. Pretty cool. Lots and lots of samples. We're gonna scour the road a bit and see uh, we can find anything else before we run out of daylight. So now we're getting into more schistose rock mixed with 
Uh, it looks like granite. You can see a quartz vein here. Just a small little sucker. Not mineralized. There's a couple of them. Right along there. We're quite a ways away from uh, the very first quartz vein you saw. Maybe a little bit of mineral in there where it's oxidized. But we're still seeing float samples on the ground and we are 400 meters away from that first spot. So could be a massive deposit. So we have literally come across thousands of these samples, thousands of samples of quartz. A few more samples here on the road before we we're heading out.